Good morning, everyone. I'm Sunny. Today, my presentation's topic is the change of learning styles for the teenagers in screen swiping generation. Screen swiping generation is coming. Based on IDC forecast, the market share of smartphones on digital technology is growing from 59% to 68%. According to the report of FIND, the mobile device users who are above 12 years old have reached to 12 million people in Taiwan. Then we talk about the word mobile device. What's it? it the main products it means are smartphones and tablet PC. As the people in this era, you should know the screen swiping generation, and most of people may be interested in those questions. First, how the behaviors of teenagers change in screen swiping generation, and what are the learning opportunities and challenges for teenagers? Next, this is the process of my research. The reference is according to Child Welfare League Foundation. Please take a look on it. And later, I'll also do the empirical research to find out the overview of phone usages for Welfare High School. The trend of education in S generation. E-learning. Most learning styles realize the concepts of adaptive learning and learning of gamification. The word gamification it means to learn through some online games. And the main feature is that we can learn anywhere and anytime. Now, the most prospective case of e-learning in USA is Khan Academy. Set up in 2006, and it is founded by Salman Khan. More than 20,000 schools in the world utilize the website to assist teaching. When Khan founded this educational website, he combines the concept of flipped classroom in it. And what's the flipped classroom? Redefine the roles of teachers and students in class and redefine the classroom. Students are transformed from passive information to active learners. And classroom became a more interactive and sharing place. The characteristics of Kong Academy. To make up for the gap of different capability among students and the role of teacher is changed, no more dominates the learning process. According to the book Talking Back to Facebook, the author summarizes the potential programs are R-A-P, R, Relationship. Teenagers get used to communicate by short message service and post on Facebook. They aren't willing to talk face to face more and more. And this phenomenon will lead to interpersonal alienation and social anxiety. A. Links, attention and addiction. By the investigation in USA, 70% of school teachers discover the decline of students' attention and the faculty of memories reduction. The two critical issues are internet addiction disorder and smartphone addiction. Next is P, privacy. Teenagers get used to disclose themselves unlimitedly on social websites. And this phenomenon will lead to privacy invasion and cyberbullying. And next, this is my research. The participants of the investigation are 8th and 9th graders of Guangfu High School. And the total number of samples is 95 copies. Next is the result. Part 1. 
study of behaviors change. Mobile devices usage. About 85% keep mobile devices. 11% use over 3 hours per day. Facebook issue. About 92% keep Facebook accounts. 57% use it through mobile device. 55% use Facebook anywhere and anytime. And in this investigation, here are three students feel anxious if no Facebook. Part 2. Studying on e-learning. Most students are interested in e-learning. But the usage of web resource and educational APP is unpopular. Only 15% use e-resource frequently. Part 3. Studying on critical challenge. First, we talk about the potential problems for teenagers. There are three, ma three major problems. Be distracted insufficient sleep, and eyesight get worse. Next, we find out the parents' attitude about kids' usage. 54% students consider their parents believe that they can self-manage well, but I really doubt it. And 26% students are constrained to use by the rules. Finally, we find we would like to realize the potential problems in S generation. Most students are worried about these issues in common. Interpersonal alienation, invasion of privacy, internet security, network adequate, and cyberbully is the last. Last, I'll make a conclusion of my study. Smartphones has been a mainstream technology in future, and our lifestyles have been changed completely in S generation. Teenagers in S generation take more advantages from e-learning and mobile learning. However, they also confront more potential problems. According to the expert's opinion, my friends, let's participate in some meaningful activities to keep away from addiction. And choose appropriate software and APPs. And take a break time every 40 to 50 minutes use. Also, let's advocate network adequate and try our best to prevent cyberbullying and privacy invasion. And that's all my presentation today. Thank you everybody and please give me your advice.